Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There's been a major survey called the Scottish Social Attitudes Survey. Uh, it's been released and the findings are, well, I'm going to say not really that surprising. Uh, they're saying that there is a massive and literally massively massive drop in trust in Scotland's politicians generally, in the SNP in particular, and in the government as a whole. They're saying people are fed up, they don't believe them, and that politicians are seen as untrustworthy and generally unlikable. Well, colour me surprised. I don't think anyone, of course, is at all surprised by the result of this, uh, this survey. But they're saying that the major issues, of course, are things like the running of the, S uh, sorry, of the NHS. Again, that's the people's number one concern, the absolute number one concern. Uh, and it's something the SNP keeps saying, oh, it's our major concern. It's, our ma it's not your major concern. For the SNP, the major concern is independence and everything that gets done has to be looked through via the lens of independence. Um, and so, you know, you have to always maintain that. So, yes, if we let these people die, they won't vote for, uh, you know, for union. We'll let the unionists die. That's how they're operating the NHS system. Uh, it seems to be certainly how they were operating the care homes. After all, older people tend to be more union minded. And so it was the uh, the elderly they tried to, um, you know, I suppose, not what's the word, eradicate um, through natural means, you know, thin the herd, as it were. Um, although there's still 10,000 possible cases of corporate homicide that need to be accounted for uh, and potentially by uh, Nicola Sturgeon, allegedly carefully saying what I need to say in a way that keeps me out of the courtroom. Uh, but Swinney, of course, has said, oh, he's listening to voters, but he isn't because he's still carrying on. Um, he's, if he was listening to voters, he'd have gone a long time ago because nobody really wants him, even from within his own party now, people don't want them. But the numbers are, uh, as the numbers are weak, let's just say that. Um, only 47% of people trusted the Scottish government to work in Scotland's uh, interest. So over half the people say the Scottish government isn't working in Scotland's interest. That's gone down from 61%. So that's a, basically a, what, a 33% drop, nearest down, around 30, a third. That's a 33% drop in support for the government to do the right thing or in belief that the Scottish government's doing the right thing. No government can survive this. No government can survive when most people think the government is not working in the national interest. And that, of course, is why come 2026, the SNP will be quite literally out on their arse. And I don't think anyone would meet them. Uh, it is a total, total, I think, damning indictment of the SNP and of their handling of the economy, the health service, transport, the roads, you name it. Every single aspect of policy is failing and it is not the fault of Westminster. It is entirely the fault of the SNP government. They've had the money. They've chosen not to spend it on the things that people want it spent on. But you do have some nice pretendy embassies. So that's all right then. It's up to the people. They've got to get rid of the SNP. And now people are seeing more and more increasingly that that is what they're going to do. And come that election in 2026, yours truly will be standing and fighting the good fight to help eradicate the threat of the SNP from Scotland's future. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, thank you very much. Welcome, good people, to the winning side, the majority, those who don't trust the SNP government. Bye.